conference in its eventual wake. The move won't be official until 2020, but leaves a lot of questions surrounding the future of the conference and who replaces UConn. In a mic'd up interview with Louisiana's Deputy Athletic Director Nico Yanko Wednesday, I asked him about the potential of UL being that team. Now, Yanko said internal conversations have been had about the AAC's future, but he remained committed to the Sun Belt. And he said any decision on UL joining the AAC would be up to its commissioner, Mike Oresco. A number of reports suggest Oresco is in no hurry to replace UConn, a team that now has questions about its football program. The Big East doesn't have football, and UConn could be in search of some dancing partners to fill out its schedule until it joins a conference for football. I asked Nico if Louisiana would seek out a series with the Huskies. There's always opportunities when it comes to football scheduling and it's a bit of a moving target from time to time when these things happen or even when schools, you know, change, uh, you know, they may have a contract set out a few years in advance and that may upset some things in the, the puzzle as it is. So that might give us an opportunity to pick up a game there. You can see my full mic'd up interview with Nico Yanko over on KTC.com.